Hey, Mr. Parker here to review the second film in the Coffin Joe trilogy. This night, I'll possess your corpse. Again, like I said uh, with the first review, this is my first uh, uh, go with the Coffin Joe flicks. So, uh, yeah, I popped this one in. This one was made in 1967, uh, starring Coffin Joe, the same actor, and the director, Jose. Uh, yeah, so it picks up right where the first one left off. You know, it kind of cheats a little bit, like a lot of those Universal Monsters or classic horror films would do. It's like, did that? he's not dead, he's okay, that kind of deal. And uh, the movie starts off right away. Uh, there's not much downtime in here. Uh, there's some major differences, though. The, uh, this one seems bigger than the first one, and it almost feels like kind of an Evil Dead 2 situation here, except without the added comedy element. It's bigger, and it feels like the uh, rehash of the first one, just it, it goes deeper into some of the things that happen, and it's much more elaborate, and uh, sleazier, and bloodier, and just more gratuitous and on all the levels. Uh, definitely for the time, it had to be pretty uh, shocking, honestly. But yeah, uh, Coffin Joe is on his way to find a perfect woman to have his child in this uh, small town. And uh, it's, a, it's much longer as well. It's, it's nearly an hour and 48 minutes long, which is, is I think, a bit too long here. But uh, I did kind of uh, enjoy a lot of the similarities I enjoyed to the first one. Uh, the Coffin Joe character carries around like a little music box. Again, like I said, that these movies to me have a little hint of like the spaghetti western movies, and that music box kind of reminded me of that. Uh, in fact, uh, the, some of the stuff that happens in this movie even kind of definitely inspired maybe even the, some scenes in the Beyond. Uh, some of the crazy uh, nightmarish moments with the spiders and uh, a glimpse into hell. It reminded me of uh, a lot of uh, cinema that had came out years later, and uh, I hadn't seen this so I, I, I thought maybe those original aspects kind of went more towards uh, you know those films but then you see something like this and you start putting the pieces together and you're like hmm this movie's pretty uh, you know inspired a lot of stuff so yeah like I said, it's a lot like the first one. Uh, Coffin Joe is a very interesting character uh, and uh, this movie starts off pretty quick. It doesn't have much downtime, even though it's an hour and 48 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of characters in here. Uh, it, it does have that like kind of cheesy quality, and uh, a lot of coincidences in here, but the movie does have a nightmarish quality. Uh, the, the high point in the movie, to be brutally honest, has definitely got to be the scene where he uh, has a horrible nightmare. That whole sequence is amazing. I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, these hands come out of the grave and pull him into the underworld and the hell, and the film suddenly gets in color. And it's just a beautiful uh, sequence. It's, it's, it's probably a little too long, but I enjoyed everything every second of it and it kind of shocked me for the time and I was thinking I can't believe this came out of the time there's actually a, a, a decent amount of nudity in here and the thing about uh, this director is he's dangerous you could tell he's dangerous he uses live spiders he uses live snakes and the, the film does seem dangerous it, it feels a little transgressive especially for the time uh, and it, it still manages to have that old kind of you know gothic uh, atmosphere and stuff going on so it, they're pretty unique films although a little long and the ending of the movie kind of disappointed me a little bit uh in, in the film he is always faced with his uh past victims in both films he's kind of haunted and uh you know has to deal with what he's done uh get his comeuppance but at the end he kind of uh, does something that i wish his character wouldn't have done even though it's just desserts and it's kind of perfect for him but it kind of just makes me feel a little sad for the evil character even though he is an evil bastard. Uh, the special features on here include like a 25-minute uh, cool little documentary about Coffin Joe. And uh, his mother is in there narrating and talking about his early life. And some of the stories he repeats himself. There's also an interview on here as well. And you get a look at his actually Coffin Joe and Museum in Brazil. And you can see that this guy has a, a huge popularity with him. And there's a good reason why. Uh, I'd like to see the third one too uh, eventually. But yeah, this is a nice little release. It looks pretty good. I was like impressed with uh, a lot of the stuff. I thought it went places that I didn't expect it to go i thought it just kind of oomph the first one a little bit uh, although i think i kind of like the first one a little bit better because it's shorter runtime it's more straight to the point and uh, it was a little fresher for me to see it although this one is definitely more uh, transgressive and you know just pushes the boundaries more uh definitely kind of a uh, one of the earlier gore films although we had the herschel gordon lewis stuff but yeah uh this night i'll possess your corpse i think it's worth checking out there are some weird kind of unexplained things like all of a sudden he has a henchman and they kind of they show the mortician place uh, that he has but they kind of ditch that whole aspect that he's a, you know the mortician of the town and where i guess he's so hated and despised that nobody wants to deal with him period even in death but uh yeah i like that cover i'd say check this one out uh, there'll be a written review too if you guys ever want to see written reviews a lot of the uh synapse titles and severn titles there actually are written reviews you'll go right in the description box below uh, and follow the demons of celluloid link and uh you'll see the written review down there if you'd like there should be one for this one as well uh thank you very much for watching and uh have a good one
Thank <laughs> you. 